Good morning. Welcome to Interviews Today, hosted by me, Lucas Santos. Today we'll be discussing The Sun Also Rises, a critically acclaimed book by Ernest Hemingway. But first, let's go to our special reporter, Felipe José Saenz. Hello, Felipe. Hello, I'm Felipe José Saenz, and I would like to talk about the book The Sun Also Rises. There are various themes to this book, but the theme that I would like to center upon is dissatisfaction. Oh, good to see you there. The book The Sun Also Rises was set during the time of the 1920s. During this time, people suffered a great dissatisfaction. This was mainly due to the war that had just occurred. People tried to find other ways of finding happiness, such as partying and drinking. Thank you, Felipe. As Felipe mentioned, dissatisfaction is a big topic in his book. This is particularly seen with the characters, Jake, Brett, and Con, all different problems in their life, and they have no means of fixing it except for drinking and partying. Pretty much every other sentence in this book is either, is either one character drunk or partying. Welcome back. Today in our special report, we're having a sociologist to come and help talk about how the book relates to problems today in society. Please welcome Armando Reyes. <laughs> Armando Reyes. Oh. Uh, before you start, Armando, can you please give some background on why we brought you today? Well, you guys asked me to come here today to explain how the book The Sun Also Rises by Ernest Hemingway compares to society today. Okay, wonderful. Now, how is this particularly seen with teenagers? Well, we should start with teenage girls and the character Brett. Ah. Brett is a woman who likes to be around a lot of men, and he, she likes to be sexually pleased with other men. Mm -hmm. We can find this example today with teenage girls today, because they also try to seek attention through being with different guys, and that will bring them happiness, because they're dissatisfied with the attention that they have. Yeah. Also on social networks like Facebook, there's always exactly. girls commenting. Exactly. Very girls true. also post pictures of them to get more attention, and that's how they're dissatisfied, and that, that's how it compares to, to society today. Okay, Armando. Although this book does relate today with teenagers, I heard it also relates with the war veterans coming back from Iraq in the United States. Well, yeah, the war veterans that come from Iraq are known to be alcoholics or drug addicts. W w why is this? W w why? This is mainly due to the fact that of all the horrors that they have seen during war, and that makes them dissatisfied with the world, they don't find a meaning of life because of all that they've been through during war. Also, we can see this with Vietnam veterans. Vietnam veterans are also known to be drug addicts and alcoholics for the same reasons. And did Ernest Hemingway particularly get this characterization correct? But I think Jake would be the right example here. Exactly. Jake could be a perfect example of this. He is a war veteran. He got wounded in war. Wound, wounded. Mm -hmm. And now he's dissatisfied with life. He's chasing after a girl that five other guys are chasing after for. He drinks and he parties all the time to find happiness. And that is my conclusion. You heard it first. Armando Reyes. Armando Reyes. We'll be back. Are you truly happy? Hey. Here we have another student from ASM, Carmen Campa. Carmen, are you truly happy? No. You heard it here first. ASM students are unhappy. <laughs> Time to make them happy. When ASMers feel the blues, there's only one place where they should go. I'll be showing you right this moment. Peace up! Peace A Town up. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Uh, okay! Okay! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Now that we're back, relating to the commercial, 
we are bringing an expert in English literature to relate if there's any truly happy people in this book. Please welcome Felipe Jose Sainz, graduate from Princeton. Felipe, please come in. <coughs> Hello. How are you today, Felipe? Very good. So, Felipe, in this book, it's particularly hard to see any truly happy people. Am I correct? Well, yes, uh, Lucas. Uh, as you can see in the book, there's a lot of unhappy people. However, Hemingway introduces some characters that I think are happy. An example of this can be the Count. The Count is a character who enjoys the little things in life. He drinks not to get drunk. He drinks because he likes drinking. That is a clear example of somebody that is happy. Because on the other hand, um, Jake, he drinks because he's depressed and he tries to find happiness through drinking. Hmm. That's not the case with him. But, I mean, there's some people that might make an argument that you can drink to get drunk, but you are still happy. Is there any character in the book that evokes this? Um, I heard Bill is a character that's quite debatable. Well, yeah, Bill, he drinks sometimes to get drunk, but he also enjoys getting drunk, and he doesn't depend on alcohol to be happy. I think he is also one of the characters that Hemingway is interested in the book that is happy, this sort of way. Do you still think that Bill drinks, even when he drinks to get drunk, do you think Bill maybe has an issue in his life that he hasn't dealt with properly, even though the book doesn't demonstrate this, but it's most likely why he drinks to get drunk? That could be a possibility of why he drinks. Wow, very well. Thank you, Felipe. Our last, our last discussion today is a question that comes up often and the sun also rises. So the question is, is dissatisfaction simply a symptom of the expatriate? Today we have about two expatriates who have currently studied the book and they will give their opinion in this question. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Lucas Santos and I am Felipe Jose Sanz Javier Perez Pala Inos Perezmano. So I've, I'm from Brazil, well my dad's from Brazil and I live there most of my life. My mom's from the United States of America. However, I'm currently an expatriate living in Madrid. I am Ecuadorian, my parents are both Ecuadorian and I am expatriate living in Madrid. So we have both studied the book The Sun Also Rises, as you can see here. And one of the questions that comes up in this book is, is this satisfaction simply a symptom of, of being an expatriate? As an expatriate, um, you can say that there are a lot of things that you miss from your country, like the family and everything, but then again, there are a lot of opportunity and different opportunities and experiences that you can, that you can encounter that will give your life happiness. I agree with Felipe. I think as a expatriate, there's definitely times where you miss your home country, you miss the culture, you miss your family, your old friends. But at the same time, I feel, particularly in Spain, it has welcomed us and uh, has welcomed my family with open arms, and I found my friends. And more importantly, I can, I feel like, I feel happy. I can't say I feel depressed. So I think it is not true this question. Uh, what about you? I also think this question is not true because uh, they're living in an age where, an era where they're partying a lot and deep inside, as we talked before in the show, they're not really happy. No, 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 but uh, I don't think it's because they're not happy. Yeah, they're not they're natural happy, but I don't think it's because of the expatriation. It's because of all the drugs they consume and the life that they live. Yeah, I think this is true because, not that I want to compare countries, but, I mean, you can say they were kind of, especially Jake, he was kind of unhappy in France or Paris, and he goes to Spain and becomes happy. I don't think it's because Spain, that people are happier in Spain, so he becomes happier. I feel it's because he solved some of his, some of his problems and he found a friend, thus he became happy. So I believe that has nothing to do with him being away from his country, because I felt... The way he was living in Paris, if he was in 
back back in well, Illinois. In Paris, he was living like a party life, just like if you were, were living in in Spain. Spain. But he wasn't. Ha I didn't feel he was. He wasn't happy in Paris. But in Spain, I felt he was, especially towards the end of the novel. Yeah. But I mean, then again, comes the question of what is happiness and like how is he happy? Is he happy because he parties more in Spain? He drinks more in Spain. There's both fights in Spain. There's more party. Or is it because, or, or why is it because? Well, as mentioned, I just feel it's because he met a friend, Bill. I believe he solved the situation with Khan. Well, Khan solved it more for him in a way. And um, I think he finally realized that he could never be with Brett. And I, that's why he felt happier. Maybe if you had these three things happen in Paris, he'd be happier there. However, the book takes him to Spain. Nevertheless, the situation was in Paris, if he wasn't back home, I think he'd still be sad. Well, that was the debate about the question. Yeah. Is this satisfaction caused by expatriation of the book is not right? We'll let you decide. Because Brad makes me, I, don't, I can't describe it, but she, she's really special. You know what I mean? Yes. What advice would you give me? You know what? This Paris weather is so depressing. We should just go to a bar. Yeah, that's a good idea. 